Hello, hi guys. Hello, how are you? So we are doing a full moon reading tonight for all of our signs, the water signs, earth signs, air signs, fire signs. Hello, lovelies. Hello, how are you? All right, so we are just getting into this new moon, or I'm sorry, full moon. We have a new moon coming up at the end of the month, but a full moon in Aquarius. So I'm going to do some readings for uh, a collective water signs, earth signs, air signs, fire signs. So stick around. Hello, Brandy. Hey, guys. How are you? <laughs> Hello, Arlene. I saw you. You were like first one in here. Hello. All right. So tonight is a little different than what I usually do. So um, I do have $22 readings available right now. The prices are reduced. Um, you can look at my bio for that. But we are doing a... Uh, basically, you guys have heard the phrase once in a blue moon, right? Right? Hi, guys. How are you? So we are doing, um, tonight is a blue moon, and the reason that it's a blue moon is because normally there's, you know, in the summer solstice, there's only three full moons, but we have four. So that's where that meaning comes from, like once in a blue moon, you know? Um, so what I'm going to do is probably a reading that I would do once in a blue moon, <laughs> and that is a reading for all four of the, um, we're hitting the entire zodiac, okay? If you are a water sign, earth sign, air sign, fire sign, um, I'm just shuffling my decks right now and getting my piles and, and stuff um, done for each side. So, yeah, isn't that kind of cool? You've heard the phrase once in a blue moon, but you never really knew why. Hoo -hoo. That's why tonight's called a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. <laughs> Hello. So I thought, so the other day the moon shifts like so fast crazy uh, because the other day the moon was right there but now uh, it's behind the house <laughs> and I was hoping to catch it so yes I can see people's spiritual gifts yes I am a psychic um, intuitive medium energy reader um, I can communicate with those who have passed I can communicate with pets um, they mostly bark they don't really get give me words <laughs> yet um, I've found missing pets, um, missing people, um, I love using oracle cards, tonight is only oracle, no tarot cards, only oracle. Hello from Kansas, hello everyone, I am Katie Mikey, I am an intuitive, natural clairvoyant, intuitive, psychic, medium, coach. <laughs> Tonight we are doing um, a reading, so this will definitely hit some of you, okay? Okay, let me see. You said I was going to come into some money for my wedding, and I recently did. That is amazing. Yeah, I don't usually see a lot of I don't usually say that to a lot of people. I'm just letting you know that, okay? So... <laughs> Oh, you've been seeing numbers repeat every day. Hey, Steph. Hey, Steph. Oh, thanks, Brandy. Yeah, if anyone wants a reading, head to the link in my bio. They are uh, at $22 right now. Just for the, because it's the 22nd today, August 22nd. So, we'll do readings for $22. So I want to let you guys know, so what I did for tonight's reading, okay, because um, if you are here and you are part of the Zodiac, then it, this this reading will pertain to you, one of these readings, okay? I'm not going to sit too long in each reading, so if you're here, stick around because, you know, we have sun, moon, rising signs. You could have, um, you know, your sun sign is air, but your moon is water. Like for me, for example, I have, um, my sun sign is Gemini and my uh, water, my, I'm sorry, my my moon is Cancer, which is a water sign. Alright, so I'm going to also have some um, 
information about your career and finances as far as like um, I've put a wealth code card in each of these piles and I have also put a card for um, romance or love which if you are not looking for romance or love this is just going to be pertaining to you in your own you know more so relationships or personal relationships okay which you can you know maybe you need to have a personal relationship with yourself maybe this is about yourself or maybe it's about another person so I'm gonna put a card for that in each of these piles as well um, and I have my moonology deck in there whoo so I'm so excited so here we go we are going to hello thank you hello you're a Taurus okay guys so I'm gonna start with water sign so if you are cancer Scorpio Pisces Sun moon rising um, this may very well You know, we've heard of cross watchers, right? People say cross watchers. Basically, I'm going to say that um, if you are here and any part of any one of these readings resonates with you or makes your insides kind of crawl, you know, or like sends chills down your spine or, hey, let's do this, guys. Okay, so I'm going to tell all of you guys in here right now, right? So my red is a little bit red on here, purple. Okay, listen up. Now, we all see synchronicities, right? If you see synchronicities in your life, throw an emoji, throw a sign, throw at exclamation marks, something. Put it in the comments right now. Just so everybody knows, they are not alone. If you see synchronicities of any kind, any kind, okay? And this even means something like, yeah, fours. Like if you say, um, all right, if this is a sign, I want to see a red car. And then you're like, boom, 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 red car. <laughs> okay? Yes, throw, throw your hands up there because this is the beginning, guys. This is the beginning because normally, okay, we had to figure out a way to communicate with, our, with ourselves. Our higher self was like, you know what? You might be smogged down with some stuff when you really need us the most. So you're going to be looking to your environment to cheer you up. So what we're going to do is play a little game with you and catch your eye and catch your attention and we're gonna play this game of synchronicities and numbers, okay? Yes, dimes, things like that, messages from, from spirits, okay? Now, once you start to connect the fact that these numbers and these synchronicities, license plates, anything, the time, seeing digits, wherever they are, once you connect those with your own thoughts, okay? And you're like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking this, and then you get that sign from the outside world that you're doing the right thing. Okay, so you have to start making that connection with your thoughts and when you see the synchronicities out in the world, okay? Now, after you, you're going to start by seeing a lot of the same digits, like 111s, 222s, 333s, 444s, and then after a while, those are going to become, it's 1010 right now, Eastern Standard Time, my time, by the way, and there's 66 of you in here. Oh, it just changed. But can, you're going to start to see different number combinations. You're going to start to see things like, you know, maybe the time is 317 and you have 31% on your phone and that's a 31 and a 31 right there. So what I would do is I go look up that number 31 right then and there if I don't know what it is. And that kind of helps me and lets me know whatever I was doing in that moment. Okay, it, it gives me a message, it gives me hope and whatnot. So after the numbers, guys, this is what the numbers are training us to do. Okay, everybody better be listening freaking put everyone listen to this okay this is so important that nobody tells you okay why you're seeing these what is it leading to what is it really leading to now we have this confirmation and we get so used to this confirmation of what we're thinking in our heads and getting the confirmation from the outside world now we have to turn that inward now when those numbers become so every day they're there they are so much in your face that now that's so normal that you have to listen to something else that's a lot more quieter than those numbers and that's inside you that's your physiology okay so when I do readings when I do psychic readings and I get visions and say I'm even trying to guess what the vision means when I get it right when I know exactly what it is like it that is this is the truth the exact truth okay my body does things like um you know my physiology or like I'll get like these tingling feelings or like you know down my back or my shoulders or in my chest or my stomach drops or like something physiological in my body happens at the same exact time that I'm having the thought and it takes a quiet mind 
to feel that and to hear that and to understand that your body is responding to your thoughts. Yes, you are correct. You don't need somebody else's um, opinion to be correct. So yes, shivers, anything like that. If you walk into a room, like that means you're supposed to be there. This is the right place. Look around. There's something in here for you. Okay. It doesn't mean turn around, run away because you're scared. Okay. Don't get, don't the difference. Okay. There's a difference between that. All right. Usually if it, if you're afraid of it, if you're there and you're like, um, I'm getting this really crazy, weird feeling in my chest. It means you have to stay there and stick it out and see why you're there. You have to figure out why you're being triggered. What is there that you need to heal? Maybe there's another reason that you're there that you're not seeing. Okay. All right. Ringing in your ears, um, songs, you hear songs, you hear whatever it is. All right. Okay, guys. So your synchronicities are leading up to your psychic abilities. It's leading up to you communicating your intuition with your own body and your body is responding to your brain's thought, okay? It is a neuron that is firing when we have a thought or an image and our body is responding and saying yes, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna lay out the reading right now for water signs. So if you are a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is the intention of this full moon, okay? So we've got about like the next week or two, uh, it's about a week, okay? We're gonna have a new moon coming up next week. So give us about this week. This will be, um, what is this full moon going to bring for you? And if you are a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? <clears throat> Okie dokie. Okay, so this entire reading, all of these cards are basically telling me that you are in a place where you feel like you probably can't go really much lower you're just like i need a change this is it like um some people might call it rock bottom some people want to avoid that word some people think like i don't want to go any lower than this i don't want to know what it feels like to go any lower than this and this is for you and i feel like here we're looking at this rock bottom but you know what this is a good sign for me because i have to i gotta tell you something when you want to create a foundation there's nothing better to start creating a foundation on than freaking rocks like they're they're really hard and sturdy right so i mean it might take a couple more layers than most people, but just think about where you're starting from. I mean, where most people start up there, you know, you get to create your foundation even more secure than they are. Now, there's definitely something about you kind of, okay, there's a breakthrough. There's something about you breaking through the barriers that are actually holding you back. The limitations of the words of the people in your past are still kind of there like I feel like you can see it you know what it looks like but there's just some there's still some things maybe songs playing in your head and you're like what is this song playing in my head you know and maybe it's like a message from the universe or something like that okay um, so this is for water signs again um, there's this energy of claiming your your independence okay claiming your independence and breaking through what you haven't done in the past. You've stayed in the shadows of people. You've said, okay, someone's done that before. I can do that too. But now is the time for you to have faith in your dreams. Okay. Have some faith in your individuality and start to branch out that way. All right. And if you feel stuck, then, or you feel scared, try to figure out where it came from and why, because there really is no reason you, I mean, even if you've failed before, there's learning, it's not really failing, there's learning that was done to catapult you kind of forward, so think about it that way, um, just embrace changes, okay, things, the reason things haven't worked out this far is because you've been doing the same thing, so by embracing the changes, it's definitely going to help you kind of find that new that you've been looking for. Okay, now um, I pulled the administrator card for your finances. Now, if you are working on a project or you are thinking about how can I, you know, increase my, my finances or my abundance, okay, um, this card basically says, I walk with a foot in both hands, 
the earthly and spiritual worlds. So you have to be practical and grounded. Um, and, and this is perfect because this rock bottom, this is, it may not be rock bottom for all of you, but it just may be, let's start at our root chakra. Let's start back down at the base. How did I even, what was my reality growing up? What did I think? Even though, even though I'm an adult now, they're still going to stick inside. Okay. All of those thoughts and, and you know, whether it's, it's like religion or anything else that you were taught from a young age, you may not understand where, where it came from, but it's just a part of your life. Okay. Now, if you are in a relationship and, or if you are looking for a relationship, I feel like the answer right now is that there is no, there, there's not enough, um, of a relationship right now and for those who are looking elsewhere I feel like it has to do with chemistry but for those who are kind of working on themselves I feel like this is your sign to like dive deeper into you loving you a little bit more because it looks like you're being asked to find out who you are claim your independence find out who you are love yourself a little bit more okay and take some chances embrace change all right you can't go anywhere else but up from here and you, this limited belief, okay? Thinking that you have to follow money to find happiness, it's the opposite, okay? Find your happiness, money will follow. That's, I feel like that is where we, I have to leave that, okay? All right, so that was for a water signs, any Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, whew. If any of you are looking for um, a reading on health, fertility, relationships, um, finances, uh, just head to the link in my bio. Um, readings are $22 right now, just for August 22nd, just because of that reason. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to be doing earth signs next guys, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right. Let me lay these cards out and kind of see what the message is. All right. Earth signs. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing how like so many decks come into play, guys. Like, um, you guys want to just see? Maybe I can just show you these. Okay. I'll try to bring them forth if, um... Okay. Okay. So... First, we see this card that says love where you are, okay? There's definitely going to be this energy that I feel like you guys feel like maybe you're stuck. A lot of times that you guys feel like you're stuck, like you're stuck in the mud. You're earth signs, right? You're, you're, you're stuck in the mud. But sometimes I feel like that's maybe, it's got to be more of a metaphor, okay? Because you're going, you're going, you're learning lessons, and, and then all of a sudden something stops. <laughs> like you feel stuck. And I just feel like there's definitely this message of just being able to love where you are, love where you're at in that moment, because there are messages, okay? And what can you do in these moments is as much meditation, um, strategizing, um, you know, looking into your own intuition, talking to spirit. What is my next move? Show me my next move. Okay. So... I feel like you really are being asked to embrace the moments that you're in when you feel like nothing is going on. When you say, oh my God, I don't understand what's happening right now. Well, you don't understand because you're not meditating. You're not, you're not, you're trying to move forward while you're supposed to be in this, this space. You're trying to leave the space and you're like, oh no, I don't want to, I don't want to learn. I don't want to see what's going on. I don't want to ask. I want to just keep going, moving, moving. But sometimes we have to stop and this is your, your finance card is strategize. Okay. So in order for you to gain more abundance in your life and to, um, you know, most likely bring in more money, you need to sit and strategize instead of just moving quickly, moving too fast. You are earth signs. Okay. We need to sit and strategize. Um, 
you know, every vision has a plan. High achieving, um, productive, calculating, be passionate, decisive, ambitious, enthusiastic, systematic, um, you know, be competitive, be active, tactile, set some goals, be persistent, okay? Um, now, if earth signs, there is someone in your life, I want to tell you that this is your message, okay? If you are here and you are an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, then your true love, um, the true love is in your life. Maybe you're not seeing it. Maybe it is you. Maybe your true love is you. Maybe your true love is this stuff that you're doing, okay? Um, I do feel like a lot of you um, are in the energy of trying to figure this all out so that you can teach other people, all right? So um, I really do feel like you do have to love what you do, whether this is your true love or... Um, you were wondering if, you know, if you were wondering what does that card have for me? What does that relationship card have for me in this relationship right now? Um, and you know, this card stands out to you. Then I want to tell you that the relationship that you're inquiring about is very much so true love. So, um, you can take that message for that, but for earth sign in general, your message is that even though when you do feel stuck, okay there's a message in being stuck. There's intuition that needs to be listened to. There's growing of your intuition that needs to be done. Um, my abilities were definitely not where they started. I started off as just reading for, um, you know, medical reason, doing medical scans, things like that. Um, because that's all I thought I could do. And, uh, it kind of blossomed. And, you know, before I knew it, I was reading lost pets, people who have passed away, all kinds of uh, stuff like that. And I just, it was all limited beliefs on what I could do or what I couldn't do. All right. So I'm going to do, uh, the next are air signs. So if you are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I am a Gemini. So I'm going to listen to this one specifically. All right. <laughs> okay. So how is this full moon going to affect you if you are a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, so these are the air signs. These are readings for air signs right now. I will uh, throw it back down here onto the cards so you can see the cards, okay? At least you can see some of them. All right. Okay, so for some reason I'm getting this this feeling about these air signs that like, look, ghost land comes up and feelings like you're not good enough. Okay, so I am getting these, these cards are showing me that you're still kind of holding your worth a little bit in the fact, like, are people going to hang out with me? Do people like me in that way? Like, why am I kind of like being pushed to be by myself? And I feel like that's like your trigger right now. It's like, I'm telling you, hey. Like, you need to be by yourself. There's not, there's a reason for it. And if you are triggered by the lack of socialization in your life, I'm telling you that the twin in you, in this, this, especially Gemini's, okay? Um, I know this is for Virgo, but um, especially in the, in these air signs, there's a lot of flowing there's a lot of movement air is very light and it's it's easy to go back and forth from one side of your sign to the other um, so in this reading for air signs this is about your self-worth okay this is about your self-worth and how much you give up I, I gotta talk to your face I gotta talk to your face on this one I'm so sorry Gemini's I gotta talk to your face okay um because this is about you understanding your worth Gemini's, Libra's, Aquarius, this is about you understanding your worth, okay? You need to pay attention to red flags in your life where you are allowing, you know, who you are to sink down just a little bit to fit in another box, per se, okay? And instead of just... acting fast on feelings, you know, like fast acting. I feel like, I feel like there's this need to be 
there's a the, there's a waiting there's a not rushing there's um but there's there's nervous energy in that and that's why I feel like you need to do it okay so if there's um, these are for air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius well this is definitely about you and your health your your mental health um, all about you right now so if you feel like you don't have a lot of people around you there's not a lot of support group or you're not really hanging out with your friends a lot or there's not a lot of socialization there's a reason for it okay um, you are being told that you need to look into am I good enough what does that mean to me where do I find worth in myself and who did I get it from okay um, and you need to also realize that love is all around you and if you don't feel that deep connection with the people in your lives or your children you need to figure out what blocks you have from childhood that's keeping you from feeling those feelings because we don't do it because we want to but sometimes we have ancestral baggage that kind of makes its way to us and then we might feel you know for some reason a block or distance with one of our children and we may not even know why or you know maybe we grew up having a weird relationship with our mother and we didn't understand it you know just and, and then we translate that back into our children sometimes that can happen but right now there's this feeling of you have to be okay you have to be okay being by yourself because that's where your power comes from is you I know you're really used to like branching it out a lot like helping a lot of people okay helping a lot of people um, very fluent flowing through a lot of people very easily but it's it's about you now okay now I really got to talk about money for some reason because I get the merchant card which is mercury and a lot of these signs do have mercury in their ruling um, and this merchant card just is it's to tell you about opportunities to prosper and make money are everywhere okay and that there has been some limited beliefs in your past that say that you have to pick one avenue and that one avenue has a cap a yearly salary that can't get any higher you know like that's what we've been programmed to think and a lot of us need to undo that okay look at this this picture this this tree okay this is an air sign okay air sign got this imagine air sign coming through and just blowing the this money all over the place all right we got to be collective calm and cool we got to know where we're blowing it we can't just come in a gust of storm and just blow it all over the place and then we're gonna have to go collect it all okay we gotta we gotta be sh we gotta we gotta be flexible with our finances I'll say because if money is going in many directions as you can think air sign um, I think it is about flexibility more so and being okay with not um, seeing results right now okay just because you don't see results right now with something does not mean you need to let go of it forever or stop it it you just need to move on to something else start that avenue if it doesn't work move on to something else start that avenue and eventually you know what that all those avenues are going to be all these little roots okay can you see these all these little roots that are part of your entire tree of abundance all right that's how i feel about it all right as far as love, um, I did say red flags. Pay attention to red flags in your love life right now. Um, and when you are, you know, especially if you're turning that around onto you <clears throat> and yourself, if you get blocks into why you don't love something about yourself, that is a red flag that you need to go back into your childhood and figure out why that's happening. Okay. All right, guys, thank you. We are going to move on to um, the last three of the zodiac, all the fire signs, okay? So we're gonna do Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I was showing you the signs, but sometimes I feel like I just need to tell you, and I don't know. Okay, so fire signs, how will this full moon in Aquarius affect you? Because this is about showing your true self. That is what this this full moon is about and again this full moon is a blue moon which means that it rarely happens there's usually only three in this summer solstice but there's four which comes where the phrase you know once in a blue moon comes from guys so um it's pretty cool now so fire signs aries leo and sag here we go okay this is all about grounding yourself Okay, this is all about a getaway. 
Um, especially if you are in a relationship right now, um, you might need to go and retreat, have a getaway, have some time with just yourself and this person. Or if you're not with someone, then you need a getaway, you need a retreat with just yourself, okay? There's some alone time that needs to happen. Um, I do feel like this alone time needs to happen because there's something in your life that's, I don't know, I feel like there's like, it's like a missing the train kind of energy. It's like, um, if you don't run fast enough, you're going to miss the train. But I feel like I need to tell you to be resilient, to like have resilience at least in the sense that, <clears throat> a lot of your ideas are going to come to you when your mind is quiet, when you're in solitude, okay? There's a time, this is a time for healing, this is a time for grounding, okay? Fire signs. Staying inside. <laughs> it's. I know it's metaphorical, but like, fire, if you catch too much wind, you're going all over the place. You're catching here, you're catching there, you're catching there, you're catching there. But right now, you need to be more at home. Okay, and you need to use your mind a little bit more wisely while you're in the, this space. Use it for healing, okay? Grounding, being okay with having patience, <laughs> all right? Uh, whatever is happening in your life, let it unfold, okay? <gasps> Shut up! <laughs> They're not eyes, <laughs> those are the light posts. <laughs> Okay, now, um, I am spiritually wealthy, all right, now, this is mystic, all right, a spiritual, sensitive, unconventional, transcendent, intuitive, this is really, <clears throat> this is really telling me to tell you that you need to I feel like you are so being called to use your intuitive abilities right now. Okay, everything is pointing to it. How you would make money. Um, emotionally, you need to retreat. <laughs> like, everything is pointing to retreat to be more in touch with your intuition. And therefore, I do feel like there's a lot of wealth in that energy. Okay? Oh my god, you guys scared me. <laughs> Don't say that. It's <laughs> alright, I have a screen. And there's light posts, like, see all those light posts right there? Those are like lights on houses. <laughs> oh, you guys scared me. <laughs> Why am I all spot on? Look guys, I've worked so hard, like, in this mindset of like trying to get in touch with this matrix of knowledge, of energy, that you know it's believing and images come to me i'm i'm not just reading cards like these are intuitive messages that are coming to me all these cards match up intuitively i'm using seven different decks of cards all right <laughs> so um yeah so to end this for fire signs like turn down your fire a little bit okay Turn it down on low. Let's keep it just burning. Keep it a little bit warm. I don't feel like right now is the time for full force, if that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> Busty. <laughs> I helped find Busty's cat and I even drew uh, an intuitive map. So Busty, I love you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you have never had a reading from me, check it out. Um, the link is always in my bio. Um, you missed the fire signs. Let me give you a quick recap. Fire signs, okay? Turn down your fire a little bit. Go inside. Be in a space where you need to ground yourself, heal yourself, be in your own intuition because I feel like you're, you're being called to use your intuitive abilities to make money somehow. I don't know exactly. There's so many different avenues, okay? There's, there's really so many different things. Um, it could even be, I mean, selling crystals. I mean, it could be anything. There's, there's, you don't have to actually be doing what I'm doing to be in the metaphysical world. Okay. Um, and even if, oh, love life. I didn't even finish that for, for fire, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. Oh yeah, I did do that. 
retreat. It's time to retreat. So you buy, if you're by yourself, if you're with another person, um, it is definitely time for solitude, going home, things like that, okay? Um, you're being asked to use your mind more wisely instead of um, just trying to figure out what is next. Kind of tone that down a little bit, you know? Imagine like a little kerosene lamp. Just like turn it down just a little bit, all right? Pisces was our the water. I did that first, all right? All right, guys. So I am all done with this reading for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, that was, it was nice. It was lovely. I'm going to um, keep the $22 readings up to the end of the evening until I head to bed. It might not be midnight your time, but it'll be midnight my time. All right. Well, I am so happy that you had such an amazing reading. Um, I actually used to do readings like this all the time on uh, YouTube, but I didn't get like a good return. It's, I guess it's hard on there. Um, but I'm telling you, have a personal reading. I connect with people through their names. So if it's you, if you want to connect, if you want to know about a child, the energy of a child, what's going on with someone, um, if you want to know if someone's intentions towards you, if you want to, I mean, I do missing persons cases all the time. Like I solve them on the side all the time. So, um, thank you, Stephanie. Yeah. So I, I can do some, I mean, every day my abilities change and get better and easier and more accurate. And, um, it really is a crazy roller coaster because, you know, as I, um, started this journey it's not easy to it, you do have to decode your own spiritual answers i guess you could say so it does take a lot um of time but i can remember my very first month that i went professional <laughs> i guess you could say um i just did free readings the whole month and i did like 75 readings and i thought that was so crazy um, and now I'm on Hey Hero and I've done, um, just about 1300 readings on Hey Hero, not to mention other, um, one-on-ones, but just through Hey Hero's platform alone, um, I've done about 1300 readings on there and I love it. I mean, this is my dream journey, I guess you could call it my dream journey. I mean, I went to school thinking I was going to be a, uh, life coach. I have a degree in sports psychology, a master's in sports psychology, and then a master's in behavioral analysis. So I understand uh, the human brain, the human mind a lot. Um, I am going to start opening up more coaching um, opportunities on my website that will be like monthly coaching and stuff. Um, be able to work one on one with me with your own psychic abilities and things like that. Um, because I do think it is important to have someone that can confirm that you do have psychic abilities or not to work with and be like, okay, we're going to do these exercises. Um, I'm going to say this person's name. Um, you tell me what you know about them, or maybe we're going to hold an object today, or maybe we're going to do a card reading or, or whatever it is. Um, so if you do want a reading on, um, anything involving your finances or a financial situation or decision, I'm clairvoyant. So I get visions first and foremost and then I feel energy like I don't know where that comes from I feel like it comes from my entire body um but yeah my readings right now are $22 it's uh intuitive healer 22 it's August 22nd it's also my mom's birthday <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna get those courses started guys I'm gonna get those courses started um I'm gonna work real hard on them uh, and um yeah, I'm really excited. I'm also going to bring some new stuff to my live. Um, I have a friend that I grew up with. She's like a sister to me. Yeah, I'll feed. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Yes, busty. Um, I, we do a lot of uh, criminal type of cases on the side. And um, we're going to actually, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, so we're going to actually start doing them live together. And we're going to start with cold cases. Um, and uh, I think we're going to do them every Saturday night, or at least start on Saturday night. 
<gasps> it's your dad's birthday too, Brandy. See how we're all connected, guys? I'm telling you, we're all connected. Like, we're all here for a reason, right? We're all here for a reason. So um, keep a lookout for that, guys, because I feel like that is going to be an amazing thing. Um, we're um, we're kind of headed towards some really cool stuff with that. I know missing missing persons is, um, you know, I can't. I had I had to find the balance of I can do cold cases with you guys all day, but when they're active, I cannot do active cases with you guys because I feel like I give away information. Yes, 22 is our number, yeah. You know, like if I tell you that I know where there's evidence and the case isn't solved yet and it's still new, then there's a possibility somebody can hear that and move that and change that fate, right? So, um, I mean, maybe they were supposed to. Maybe, maybe they were supposed to. Okay, all right, listen, okay, I heard you. Spirit just said, maybe they're supposed to go move it and get caught. <laughs> Okay, Spirit's like, just do it, Katie. Just do it. Okay. <sighs> yes, so what we're going to do is, um, so anyway, we grew up, we're, our birthdays are nine days apart. Um, we've always believed that we were sisters or twins in another lifetime. And uh, recently we, I mean, both kind of developed our psychic abilities at the same time. We, we lead unbelievably mirrored lives and um, I'm going to bring her up on my live. She does not have, uh, she doesn't have a thousand followers yet. She's so close. So maybe you can go follow her. Her name is Oracle Brie Marie. Um, but she'll be here on Saturday with me on the screen. So you'll notice it's going to look a little bit different. Um, we will have our links available for readings in our bio at the time. But we're going to be doing a live reading on a cold case. And we're going to start doing that every Saturday so you guys can just hang out you can make comments what you guys what we're hoping um, to do is like as we do our readings you guys can kind of put clues together you know because we're not looking to you know how we see it we're both Gemini's we both have a very similar astrological chart so we in working together we're obviously getting separate clues for a reason so we're hoping that by us you know being here and giving these separate clues it's it'll show people what psychic abilities are because we both are amazing at what we do I mean we can both sit and get a name and she's in she's thousands of miles away from me and she can sit and get we'll get the same name and we will write like the exact same thing of what happened so to see it live I'm really anxious to see it live us doing it live for you guys um, we're gonna start doing it this okay this Saturday evening at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. She's Mountain Time, 9 p.m. Um, so it's going to be around that time. Okay. So what you want to do is if when you like, if you click on me, at, like in your follows of people that you follow, um, you can click the bell. And if you click the bell, then you will get notified anytime I go live. So you won't miss it. Now I'm going to have the event. Um, her name is, okay. I'm going to Okay, I, I don't know if she has any letters right now. I, I guess I wasn't prepared. Maybe I should have been prepared for that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna I'm, gonna, I'm going to connect it to the um, the the event and um, I'll tag her in it. You guys can follow her um, and then she'll be at the live too. It's Oracle. Uh, you'll have to look it up. Oracle Brie Marie. I don't know if there's more than one on there. I don't know. So um, just wait. I guess just wait. Okay. Did you ask her a bit about it? Did I ask her? Bussy, are you talking to me? <laughs> Did I ask, um, Brie? Is that what you're saying? Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'll write that name down. Lauren. S P I E R E R S P. Okay, I'll write that down. Yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna start doing more cold cases, um, and then we're gonna do live intuitive readings on those cold cases. Um, you know, just because I don't know. So you guys can see like the accuracy in it, or at least like how. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you want to come knowing a lot about the case. Maybe you don't. I don't know. 
we'll tell you what case we're doing beforehand. How about that? And you guys can do like your own research if you want to, to get a little background of, you know, um, or you can be doing it live with us if we get some, if we hit on something. Um, all right, if that makes sense. We're probably not going to be able to like bring up maps or anything like that on the spot, which we normally do, but we might be able to talk about some stuff. So, um, hopefully I'll, you know, save that video and then I'll be able to post it. We'll both be able to post it on our, um, YouTube channels and stuff like that. So if this works out, if it works out on this avenue, awesome. We might also try it on Instagram too, and then just repost to YouTube. Um, so I am really excited about this like super, super, super excited. So um, just watch out for those videos. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be doing it this Saturday, okay? I'm gonna be doing my normal Tuesday and Friday um, $15 micro readings, okay? So I'll, I'm will i gonna have an event for that. So we'll see you guys on Tuesday night, okay? Have a wonderful night and thank you so much for being here, all right? Thank you so much, my soul family. Thank you.